Let's discover what the person on your mind is wanting to tell you right now. First, we got, I should have fought for you. So this person knows that really they should have been more on the side of this relationship. They shouldn't have been willing to give up so easily. This is someone who they really regret their inability to have staying power in a relationship. I need to work on myself. I'm trying to clear my head. So like I said, this is someone that I feel like they have some wounding here in regards to really sticking with someone who's really important to them. It feels like when someone gets really close to them, they tend to push them away. I'm caught up in a karmic relationship. Wow. Okay. So I feel like this person really has like a wound of judgment in particular. Like they really care about what other people think. This could mean that they are with another person, but more than that, I'm more getting this feeling that like this is a friend or a family member that really judges them for their choices. I want to hold you. So they are just imagining being with you, snuggling with you, caring for you. You know, if you have felt them pulling on your energy, I really feel like it's it's because they have these these fantasies of just being close to you. And finally, I want a future with you. Yeah, this person knows that if they do want to build something with you, if they want to build a relationship here, they are going to have to show up in this much more committed energy. That is something that their heart truly desires. And I think this is the first time they've felt a desire like this for someone. So now I want to know what kind of action this person is going to take. This person has spent a lot of time kind of keeping track of you either online or through mutual friends. The Page of Swords is kind of like a spy or a spying energy, but in the upright, it's it's positive. They're just kind of keeping an eye on things. And it's because I think for the first time in their life, they're really feeling this connection to you. Like you're the kind of person that they want to build a life with. Ten of Cups is the card of domestic family bliss. And I feel like the more this person sort of sees you, keeps track of you, sort of like learns more about you from afar, the more they can see that you are exactly the kind of person that they can see themselves settling down with, really having a family with, really experiencing true happiness with. And I feel like this person never felt like that was a possibility for them before. So now they are absolutely coming in with communication here. The Eight of Wands is fast movement, fast communication. This communication is likely coming to you sometime in the next week or so, which if this is someone from your past, that definitely makes sense since we're entering Mercury retrograde. But I feel like this person just has a whole lot to say to you. Like they've really not told you a whole lot about how they're feeling, but right now they all they can think about is all, all the things they need to say. Like I think the first time they talk to you, you're gonna have to just kind of be quiet and just listen. Because what they see here with you is just absolute success, beauty with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is like recognition, like they want their feelings to be known. They want their feelings to be out there. Like this feels very much like I want the whole world to know how much I care about you, how much I love you. Like I said, I feel like there's a really judgy family member or friend that's around this person that has sort of held them back from expressing these feelings before. Now this person is just coming in hot. They might be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but doesn't have to be. So a lot of what I feel like this person is going to be telling you about is this sort of healing journey that they've been on. The Three of Swords is a card of just devastation and loss and heartbreak, like laying on the floor, just sobbing over something. In the reverse, though, we've done a lot of healing from that. Like, I feel like this is a lot of like past wounds that they've been healing, that they've been dealing with. And again, with Sagittarius energy here with the temperance, I feel like they're really hoping that you're going to be very patient with them because while they've done a lot of healing work on their own, they are still in the process of this. But they see the two of you being able to come together to kind of make something brand new. Like your connection with this person allows them to really take their healing to the next level. And that's actually kind of beautiful. Like what we want ultimately is a partner who will help us learn and grow and heal past wounds together. And I feel like this person might have had some bad habits previously when you guys were talking to one another. I'm not quite sure if you guys dated each other or if you just had had passing conversations together. But the Four of Cups reverse sort of indicates to me like the release of something toxic. Definitely an attitude of ingratitude. But the Four of Cups reverse can literally mean like walking away from a habit like drinking too much or smoking too much or even involvement in other substances. 
Or it can just simply mean like, you know, getting away from habits that they know weren't healthy for them, right? Um, so whatever pattern of behavior kind of stood between the two of you before, I feel like this person's actually done quite a lot of work around that pattern of behavior. And I feel like it's because they feel so inspired by you. The Empress is divine feminine energy. So this is a card of growth and plenty and abundance. It's Taurus energy. So you might be an earth sign. But they're definitely seeing you as like the one for them. Like <laughs> they have always had this sort of image in their mind of like who they want to be with. But you feel very much like that image okay but it like took them a while to sort of figure that out like i feel like this person had to get their head out of their behind a little bit to figure out what a gift of an amazing human being you are like this person has needed like a period of like quiet a period of solitude for a while to kind of discover a lot of emotional independence and what truly lights them up and makes them happy and and kind of learn how to tune out these outside negative voices now, we've got another earth sign card, Virgo card with the hermit here. The hermit is all about kind of going into that cave and being a bit of a recluse for a while. But it's so that you can find what lights you up internally, ultimately so that you can bring that light out and shine it for others. And the snake at the feet of the hermit in this particular depiction, I feel like really has to do with some shadow work being done here. Like this person has gone within and made peace with their shadows, made peace with the darker elements of themselves, which is a tough thing to do. And in doing that, they have really found a lot of emotional independence here with the Nine of Cups. They figured out what truly makes them happy as a person, right? Without considering what other people think or considering what society is going to think. Maybe there's like some big cultural or age difference between the two of you. But this person's like, I know how to go within, kind of figure out how to make myself happy. And so I'm not going to be quite as emotionally needy is what I'm kind of hearing as I was previously. Like to me, this is sort of like setting up emotional independence, like with this combination in particular, right? This is all about really kind of figuring out who you are, who you want to be, and really wanting to kind of share that journey with you. So I really see this person as going like, man, I've been through like just the biggest transition, this big healing period in my life, because I'm inspired by you. I'm inspired by your example. And I've really walked away from a lot of bad habits here and a lot of like just naysaying. And I just, I don't care what anybody else thinks. I want you. I love you. Like this person is heading into this whole really balanced energy and just looking for and striving for commitment, something that sticks. Like the two of pentacles, I feel like is here for two reasons. Like I feel like this person was really kind of emotionally unhinged <laughs> potentially when you were last talking to them. Like they just were not in the emotional space for a real relationship here. And now they've done just a whole lot of work that's brought them much more into balance. Like they're just a much more balanced person. Like I think their energy is really going to surprise you. But not just that, this feels like yin and yang energy to me. Like they see you as sort of like their other half. Like... You know, you guys can just balance each other out well. Like when they're really wanting to like focus on work, you're willing to like kind of be a little bit more playful. When you're a little more playful, they're really wanting to focus on work. Uh, but it's like a nice little balance. Like the two of you ground each other very well. And with the Hierophant here, I mean, this is Taurus energy again. Again, we've got very heavy earth sign. We've got earth and fire in this reading. Um, but basically with Taurus, we've got, you know, sort of, this commitment with the idea of the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the Jacob's Ladder, right? It connects the spiritual to the physical. And I feel like that's how this person feels about you and about this connection. Like, the two of you have a really spiritually deep connection here. And they want to see it manifest in this reality. Like, I think it scared them how deep this connection is, but now they're really wanting to see, like, the physical reality in a very traditional sense. Like, the Hierophant can indicate marriage, but they're definitely in interested in investing in this relationship in a way that I don't think you've ever seen from this person before. I don't think they've ever done this before in their life. So let's get some advice for you in regards to this connection. 
With the King of Wands and the Four of Wands showing up here in the overall energy, I really feel like, again, we've got emphasis on fire sign energy, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. But we also have emphasis on a really strong spiritual connection between the two of you. The Four of Wands is often called the Twin Flame card because we've got the 1111 here in the card, but it's also a card of marriage and celebration and celebrating love with one another. And the King of Wands, he is the guy who kind of guards the spiritual realm. He's at the very highest point on the Tree of Life. And he's, he's a fun energy. He knows what he wants. He goes after what he wants. And like nobody really stands in his way. And he's just a really charismatic guy. So I feel like there's a very bright future ahead of you two. Because then next in the advice, we have the Two of Cups with the Emperor. We got the Empress already in this in this uh, reading. So this is like further confirmation that the two of you are really meant for one another. So the Emperor being divine masculine energy. This is Aries energy. Again, very much like someone who knows how to build a future. And with the Two of Cups here, this is the energy of a relationship that's new or a relationship that's been renewed. It's a very healing connection. It's equal. It's balanced. It's really gorgeous here. And so I feel like the advice here is like, yeah, if you feel like this is your person, you are you are absolutely spot on. Now, I do feel like you guys might have had like kind of gotten off to a rocky start like maybe you guys had like a little stint of dating each other for a while or like you had like communication that just never really took off in this way but we definitely have something we need to talk out here we we do have air sign energy here so libra aquarius or gemini might be important to one or both of you but more than that i feel like this is kind of talking through like how you might have had to heal from feeling excluded by the other. Like I said, this person, I feel like had some people around them that really, they were concerned about their judgment or they're concerned about being judged by them. And that's what really kind of prevented them from like moving forward with this connection. And I think there's a need for like a real serious talk between the two of you about not letting others sort of get in the way of this connection. Also, we have this kind of reminder that slow and steady is going to win the race here. The Knight of Pentacles is one of the slowest moving cards in the deck, okay, y'all? So this is someone who, he's just taking it one step at a time, one day at a time, right? And just kind of taking things as they come, like building things slowly. So if previously you guys were moving like at lightning speed and that's why everything kind of fell apart, the advice here is like, take it slow. Know that choosing one another is a choice that you have to make every single day. So again, another twin flame indication, Gemini energy. So I think the two of you are just meant to kind of take things slow and work towards this ultimate goal of being together. So I hope this reading was helpful for you. If it was, please do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It's a big help to this channel's growth. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I do hope you'll stick around for this next video right here. And I hope each of you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. And I'll see you next time.